Hello, my name is Charles, and I'll be presenting poster 1305 of the 2021 Student Research Symposium. Title, Status of Design and Construction of Piles with a Pilot Hole. This project is funded by the Georgia Department of Transportation, and the project number is RP19-06. Pile foundations are usually preferred in structures with a larger carrying load due to their larger capacities. Pile driving can be complicated in certain ground conditions, such as dense rock or soil layers. These conditions can even damage the pile during the installation process. A way to mitigate this damage is the use of a pre-drilled hole prior to the installation of the pile. For the duration of this presentation, these pre-drilled holes will be referred to as pilot holes. Pilot holes can be a size larger than the pile or a size smaller than the pile. Some advantages of pilot holes are they have less noise during the installation process, require less driving effort, and can prevent damage to the pile during driving. However, the current problem with pilot holes is that there are no standard guidelines that coincide with the low resistance factor design or LRFD methods. In order to better understand the current use of pilot holes in the United States, the research team went to all 50 state DOT websites to review documents. Some of the documents reviewed were standard specifications, geotechnical manuals, and bridge design manuals. Information regarding the use of pilot holes were the focus of the document review. In addition to this, a survey of questions was created and sent out to all 50 state DOT agencies in order to have more specific information about their use of pilot holes. 48 states replied to the survey. From this survey and the review of state DOT documents, the research team discovered that different terminologies, hole sizes, and ground conditions are used for pilot holes. Some of the varying terminology for pilot holes were pre-drilling, pre-cored, pre-boring, and pre-artering. Hole size varied from a hole larger than the pile dimensions to smaller than the pile dimensions or the same size as the pile dimensions. Some states had different sizes depending on different ground conditions. The majority of states use holes in both soil and rock layers as far as ground conditions go while fewer states use pilot holes only in soil conditions or in rock layers. One of the survey questions was in regards to how the state confirms pile capacity when you have a pile installed with a pilot hole. Many of the state's replies included the use of PDA or pile dynamic analyzer testing to be done on piles with a pilot hole. This research project has scheduled in 2021 such a test to be done on a pile installed with a pilot hole here in the state of Georgia. The data from the PDA test will help in the development of better design practices for piles with a pilot hole. In conclusion, drilling a hole before driving a pile is a common practice that many state agencies have been using either regularly or occasionally. Of the review states, there were some notable commonalities in ter and differences in terminology, hole size, ground conditions, and design and, construction and design and construction methods. This study suggests the use of the term pilot hole because it clarifies the role of the hole as a pile driving assistance method and prevents the confusion with similar terms being used for other foundation types. There are no federal level guidelines on the use of this technique yet, especially with the LRFD method with a pilot hole. Once again, I would like to thank the Georgia Department of Transportation for funding this research and thank the DOT agencies and engineers that took the time to answer the survey questions that were sent out to them. This concludes the presentation on the status of design and construction of piles with a pilot hole. Thank you.